to everyone myself jay rathod today i am presenting a auto cycle what is a auto cycle auto cycle is invented by nicolas otto in 1876 it is a idealized thermodynamic cycle that describe the functioning of spark ignition internal combustion engine petrol engine the auto cycle is characterized by the efficiency which is depends on compression ratio of engine first we are going to working of a petrol engine and the pv diagram of auto cycle ts diagram of auto cycle and engine equation for petrol engine through the auto cycle there are four types of process in petrol engine first suction second compression third combustion fourth exhaust first one is suction in suction piston moves from tdc to bdc means from 0 to 1 and inlet valve is open by which air and fuel mixture comes in second is compression in compression piston moves from 1 to 2 at this time both exhaust and inlet valve is closed third is combustion in combustion by spark plug provided spark to mixture of fuel and air by which combustion occurs fourth one is myself jivan dilip chavan i am presenting to the uh, auto cycle graphs uh, the auto cycle can be represented on a pressure volume pv diagram and temperature entropy th diagram the process of the auto cycle are first process 0 to 1 air is drawn into the piston cylinder arrangement a constant pressure then uh, second process 1 to 2 piston the piston moves from the bottom dead center bdc to uh, top center tdc compressing the air fuel then uh, third process t uh, 2 to 3 uh, head is a transfer of the charge at a constant volume fill the piston is at tdc uh, then uh, third process uh, 3 to 4 the mixture expands adiabatic or uh, isotropical which is a called a power stroke mm, then fourth process uh, 4 to 1 it is a rejected from the air at constant volume fill the piston is at bdc then last process um 1 to 0 the mixture is uh, released into the atmosphere this is a graph uh, the um, first two 1 to 2 isotropic compression and second is a uh, 2 to 3 constant volume heat addition and uh, 3 to 4 isotropic expansion and 4 to 1 constant volume heat rejection that is a uh, process last uh, uh zero to uh, one to zero the mixture is uh, released into the atmosphere the efficiency of a uh, auto cycle is uh, mainly a function of the compression ratio cr for a given ratio of cp and cv the higher the cr uh, the higher the thermal efficiency however the cr of petrol engine is usually limited to a maximum of a maximum of a 9 or 10 due to knocking at high crs that is a graphs then ts diagram is a common tools in thermodynamics that is help to visualize heat transfer during a process the area under the curve on a ts diagram represented the heat interaction ts diagram for the auto cycle um shows the following process first um 1 to 2 compression process which is a uh, isentropic and uh, then uh, 2 to 3 heat addition process which is a uh, isochoric and uh, 3 to 4 expansion process which is a uh, isentropic and last is process is 4 Four to one heat rejection process, which is the isochoric. Myself, Monish Patel. I am deriving the equation of efficiency for petrol engine through auto cycle. Here we see uh, the first Q one, which is Q intake, uh, which can be written as M C V T three minus T two. C V is the specific heat at constant volume, and T three minus T two is the uh, temperature difference. Then Q two equals Q out. the heat uh, heat get 
out to the uh, petrol engine. Uh, it is also written as MCV T4 minus T1. CV equals to the uh, specific heat at constant volume and T4 minus T1 is the temperature difference. Then efficiency we can write as uh, heat added minus heat out by heat added. Q1 minus Q2 by Q1. Then by simplifying it, uh, efficiency equals to 1 minus Q2 by Q1. Then uh, by putting the values of uh, Q2 and Q1 in the efficiency equation and after uh, eliminating the MCV and MCV both common on the upper and lower side, we get the efficiency equation as 1 minus T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2. Uh, name the equation as equation number 1. Then by the TS graph, we have seen before the temperature and entropy graph. The entropy is constant for the 1 to 2 and 3 to 4 process by which we can return as the temperature difference as to be constant. T2 by T1 equals to T3 by T4. Uh, then by, uh, by rearranging it, T4 by T1 uh, equals to T3 by T2 by multiplying, uh, by cross multiplying. Then by uh, then by adding minus 1 on both sides, we get T4 by T1 minus 1 equals to T3 by T2 minus 1. Then taking LCM, we get T4 minus T1 by T1 equals to T3 minus T2 by T2. Then by simply uh, rearranging it, we can get T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2 equals to T1 by T2. Name this equation as equation number 2. Then by we have seen the first efficiency equation equals to 1 minus T4 minus T1 by T3 minus T2. Put, uh, put in this equation the value of equation number 2 of T, T4 minus T1 and T3 minus T2. Then we get efficiency equation as N equals to 1 minus T1 by T2. And name it this equation as third equation. Then as we seen as uh, the TS graph, it is uh, the process is 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 are isentropic process. So for isentropic process, the equation uh, is a standard equation as T1 by T2 equals to V2 by V1 to the power gamma minus 1. Gamma can be represented at the specific heat ratio of the specific heat of, at constant pressure by specific heat at constant volume. Then by, by putting the value of T1 by T2 in the equation number 3 of efficiency, efficiency equals to 1 minus V2 by V1 to the power gamma minus 1. Then by uh, transferring the V2 by V1 in the denominator, we can get the efficiency equals to 1 minus 1 by V1 by V2 to the power gamma minus 1. Then V1 by V2 is, no, uh, is uh, written as compression ratio as gamma k so the efficiency equation finally becomes efficiency equals to 1 minus 1 by compression ratio to the power gamma minus 1 as the relationship between efficiency and compression ratio in auto cycle can be represented by the efficiency equation as the compression ratio increases the thermal efficiency of the engine also increases thank you